and welcome to our news. I'm Jody McKay. Tonight, Angolan rebels shoot down a second UN plane and frustrate attempts to release an Australian hostage. A service station attendant comes to grips with a syringe-wielding bandit. And Australia bowls its way back into control of the fifth test. But first tonight, an admission from police that a major rethink may be needed in their road safety strategies. It follows 29 deaths in New South Wales over Christmas, most of them in country areas. Not since the 1989 Kempsey bus crash has it been as bad as this. 29 people dead in road accidents over the Christmas holiday period. Helen Kapalos, MBN News. And still to come, Australia makes a disappointing start in the Hopman Cup tennis. And after the break, authorities call off the search for survivors from the Canadian Avalanche. There's been a breakthrough in the stabbing murder of Sydney schoolboy Edward Lee. Police have released this image of a suspect. He's of Middle Eastern appearance, aged in his mid to late teens. They hope it will prompt frightened witnesses to come forward. Edward Lee and his friends had just pulled up at their classmate's 15th birthday in Punchbowl when they were ambushed by more than 20 gang members. A rude shock for a bandit in Melbourne overnight as he tried to rob a convenience store in the heart of the city. After being threatened with a blood-filled syringe, the shop attendant fought back with a golf club. The man entered the 7-Eleven store in the city at 20 past eight and taking a syringe from his pocket demanded... Still no decision on which of the three co-pilots will be left behind because of weight problems in the gondola. Sport now with Jim Callanan and Australia in command, the SCG. That's right, Jody. The Aussie bowlers gave the Poms all sorts of problems and Sri Lanka off to a shaky start in its tour opener in Perth. A five-wicket haul for Stuart McGill in front of another bumper SCG crowd has put Australia on top against England at stumps on day two of the fifth test. England was all out for 220. John Crawley top scored. Our spinners took eight wickets between them. Shane Warne won for 67 in his return to test cricket. At stumps, Australia is none for 13 in its second innings, an overall lead of 115. Day two and more impressive crowd figures, but for Glenn McGrath, 200 was the magic number. It's gone! Yes, Warne takes on the second grab. That's well bowled. That's 200 test wickets. Right on. Lazy shot. And coming up, taking on the big waves at Waimea Bay. A disappointing start for Australia at the Hopman Cup Tennis in Perth. Mark Philippoussis and Yelena Dokic losing to South Africa. Wayne Ferreira and Amanda Kutzer won the opening round tie 2-1. After a year he described as a roller coaster, Mark Philippoussis says he's keen to adopt a positive approach to the game. Pine moved into fourth to secure the narrowest of test wins, but Brown was the hero. And good to see the Aussies win, Jade. That's the day in sport. Let's hope we can do the same in the cricket. <laughs> a warm day for northern New South Wales, and tomorrow should be much the same. A high in the Tasman will strengthen, continuing the warm and humid northeast winds over the state. Tuesday, a low pressure system will develop in the southwest of the state, and it will become hotter for the end of the week. It's up in with 28 degrees today in the city, 33 in the valley, and 30 for Gosford. Fine tomorrow, there is, however, the chance of late showers in the valley. The winds north to northeast. The city and the Coast heading for 29 degrees tomorrow, the Hunter Valley a warm 33. Looking ahead now, staying fine and becoming warmer around 31 degrees Thursday. Late showers and storms possible. The wind north to northeast on the water reaching 40 kilometres an hour in the afternoon. The seas becoming choppy and the swell to one and a half metres. Next in the new Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs make a long overdue return to the stage. Naturally, they all live happily ever after. Snow White runs for a fortnight. And that's MBN's news for Sunday the 3rd of January. Thanks for being with us. Good night. Good night.
It's All Laughs with Jim Carrey, Jerry Seinfeld, Eddie Murphy, Tim Allen, Roseanne and Drew Carey. Television's comedy classics, 7.30 on NBN.